Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brown Owls here, and this week we've got some more new product. First up, from Matador Arms, we have their Mat 9 upper receiver. This fits any standard AR lower receiver. Uh, it does accept those, of course, that feed 9mm magazines, uh, since this is a 9mm upper. 9-inch uh, barrel, of course, 9mm uh, Luger, Parabellum. Um, and it's compatible with, uh, say, a, a lower receiver that takes a Glock mag directly, uh, mean arms conversions, that type of thing. So you can get this upper, have that lower ready, a conversion kit ready, sturdy defense, something like that, and you're ready to go. Uh, so features of this upper, the one neat thing you'll probably notice right away, there's no uh, buffer tube uh, or your common AR carrier you gotta deal with. So there's no protrusion into the lower receiver that allows you to have a Picatinny rear, a folding uh, stock at the rear uh, if you choose. So. The other nice feature, you got front charging. You can see the charging handle moving right there. I'm operating it on the other side. Uh, and there you get a real good example of how the mechanism's completely contained. Um, it is reversible. So this is uh, just this simple protrusion here that's knurled, nicely textured. And you can, during your disassembly process, you can swap that out to the right hand side if you prefer. You got M-lock up front on the uh, sides, the bottom. And of course, up front, you got a threaded muzzle so you can put your favorite uh, muzzle device on it right there. So that's the Mat 9 upper receiver. You can find it on brownells.com. And then next up, we got two little items from Brownells. Here we have an addition to our BRN 22 bolt lineup. Currently, we have a nitride bolt and then a stainless uh, bolt. This one here is titanium nitride. So you get this nice uh, gold looking finish uh, and then these come completely assembled. So you got your firing pin there ready to go. It comes with the extractor. You can drop it into your 1022 or your BRN22 upper and you're off to the races. So check that out. Nicely made, really uh, impressive product, especially for the price that you'll see on this. And then here is a new item from Brownells. It's as tiny as can be. This is an offset retaining pin uh, for your AR lower receiver. So a common issue on AR uh, lowers, uppers, and or just builds uh, is your recoil buffer maybe isn't making contact with your carrier. And the most common symptom of this, or I guess the, uh, the result of this, you'll see chatter marks on your recoil buffer. That's from your standard buffer uh, impacting uh, the retaining pin right here. It's not coming fully in contact with the carrier. So what this does is you insert this into your lower receiver, installs just like a normal retaining pin. It allows that buffer to come a little bit more forward uh, when it's not assembled. And then when you assemble it onto your upper receiver, it'll come in full contact with your carrier and push back a little bit and it won't be put, putting weight or pressure on this pin. You don't want it to do that uh, when, it's, when the gun's assembled and cycling. So when it's assembled and cycling, it's never gonna come in contact with this pin. Then you go to disassemble it, your buffer moves a little bit more forward and you can disassemble it as normal. Nice little upgrade, especially if you're running into that issue with your current configuration of parts. Uh, that's the Brownells offset retaining pin. And then new from Bravo Company, we have a few items. This is their AT uh, mounting system. This one here is for a Trigicon MRO. Uh, it's available for a few other uh, optic uh, or optics out there, I believe like the Aimpoint uh, T2 type mounting. Uh, and you can see this thing is tiny. It uh, fits a standard Picatinny rail. And I did say, yeah, this is an MRO. So you mount it up through these through holes on the bottom, mount to the, mount the optic, of course, to the top. Now, the interesting thing about this uh, well, that's really unique, one, this is, is the size. This thing is tiny. It doesn't weigh a whole lot, but that doesn't mean it's not strong. What they did is they had uh, the bolt come in at an angle. Your typical optic mount, it comes in parallel to your upper receiver, your Picatinny rail, uh, and it pulls a clamp across uh, to squeeze uh, and put force on that Picatinny rail. Well, this mount, uh, it does a little bit different. When you tighten this bolt, it's pulling, I guess it's, here, I'll hold it like this. When you tighten that bolt, it pulls up in that direction. So on that uh, lower edge of your Picatinny rail, it's applying pressure and pulling everything nice and snug. Uh, Bravo Company says that allows for two times more clamping force than your normal clamp type uh, Picatinny mount. So check these out. This is extremely lightweight. Uh, they got a great price on them. Of course, Bravo Company, so you know they are great quality. They've been tested to death. Uh, they're gonna work great for you. And then also from Bravo Company, we have their 
Mark II. This is, a, I believe, their Mod 2 stock, their newer stock, with their new recoil system. So this is a little bit longer buffer tube than, say, your standard carbine tube. And you can see here, uh, this buffer and spring comes with it. You can see this buffer's a little bit longer as well. Allows uh, for a little bit more weight there. And then this Mark II recoil system, they have anti-bounce features or a configuration of weights in here to ensure when your carrier goes forward, especially when operating maybe full auto or something like that, that that carrier's not bouncing off your uh, barrel extension, that it's going home and staying home in battery. So you get uh, the proper spring, you get the proper buffer and the buffer tube, the Bravo Company stock. You do get this QD mount right here. So if you can attach a, your sling or single point sling right there on an end plate. And I will say too, on the new stocks, they're extremely nice. They got this nice uh, slim cheek piece here. Uh, they've got a QD mount insert in steel right there at, in a really good location for the stock. And then they got through holes if you just wanna run your sling through there. Uh, to mount it up otherwise. And then to adjust these, you simply pull this lever that's not in the way, it's not gonna protrude, snag on stuff. Uh, you can adjust really easily uh, with that uh, lever right there. So that's the Mod 2 Mark II stock assembly from Bravo Company. And then from Checkmate, we've got 2011 Type Magazine. So these uh, function with 2011 type pistols, your Staccato and all the others out there in the world uh, now. Uh, this is a 17 round magazine. This one's been out for a little bit, uh, but the 20 rounder just posted on the site. So if you wanna check that out, a little bit higher capacity. Historically, these magazines have been either hard to come by or the price is crazy. These Checkmate magazines come in at a great price. Uh, so check these out. This is again, the 17 round, nine mil, 2011 style uh, pistols. Check it out from Checkmate on brownells.com. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week.